All right, test, test. All right, let's see how this goes. Wow, I'm so sharp today. All right, for another installment of I Am Exhausted, let's go through the week. Recap. So to start the week off, I gave myself a little scare because of this thing. So I got in, it was like three or four, let's just say it was five in the morning. Um, I'm not exactly all in my head and I get a little ping from an email and I see that it's on there. It's like, um, thank you for your support. Um... And I'm just kind of skim reading at this time. So it's just kind of like, thank you for your support, packaged, sent. Um, here's your invoice. And so I go, oh, well, maybe this is the VR tracker thing. Because I'm expecting that, and it is November now. So that product should be shipping sometime soon, and hopefully I'll get an update on that. When I opened up the invoice, um, I used... Samsung PDF reader because it was a PDF and what I saw was this invoice for Norton VPN for $425 and like 29 cents or something and I was just like the none of this is correct and so I went back to the email and I woke up a little bit more and I and I reread what the email said and it was saying things like um thank you for the package you sent um we can we see it and it will arrive shortly or whatever. Here's the invoice for whatever. I'm just like, none of this email makes sense. So I checked who the email sender was and it was just some, you know, just some name like Susan, Susan Strong dot <laughs> um, at gmail.com or something. I was like, all right, all oh, this is weird. Um, so I did one more. I took like. 15 more seconds just to kind of be like, all right, I, I just had this thing, this memory trigger in my head. So let me look that up real quick. And it was um, malware hidden in PDFs because, you know, there's always things like um, text documents that can open up um, like websites and stuff like that. And I was just like, I don't remember that being a thing with PDFs, but I do remember hearing about that. So I looked it up. And yeah, it was a thing. So I immediately just sort of turned my phone off and I was like, you know what? I'm just not going to deal with it. And for the meantime, we're just going to leave it off. And so for the next like couple days, I was just sitting and just doing research and just leaving my phone off. And it wasn't, it wouldn't be until like Thursday before I finally turned it back on and went through the steps to try to sort of check to see if there's anything going weird in the phone or if there's anything that um, sort of pops up as suspicious. So what I learned was you can put your phone into safe mode, which I thought that was only a thing that was like, a not available, but that like computers do because it's there's a lot more complex things. And so when something goes wrong, like a memory leak, you can kind of minimize the amount of variables that you have to deal with by putting into safe mode and so only you know certain things are running at a time and you can kind of identify all right that's a thing that isn't running now and i'm not having the problems i was having earlier so maybe that's the thing let's delete it so you can do that in your phone um and went through and just tried to identify anything and none of the things that I ran identified anything as like being malicious or suspicious. So um, we d I didn't really like fix anything or really change anything because there wasn't even a software update that I could like run through and do all that stuff. So if there is still something hiding on my phone, I'm just going to have to live with that. <laughs> I guess. Um, I'm still not plugging it into my computer. Yeah, that was the beginning. And then, then we get into phase two, or I guess this is phase two, but we finally did, we had to do more prying and cranking so we can finally get the battery actually exposed. We did some breaking in the process, so there should be three white things in there, but they got stuck in the lid up there. 
so that was fun. But yeah, so now it's fully exposed, and the next step is probably the most scary one for me, just because if I do something wrong, then the entire thing is bricked. But it's messing with that motherboard there and doing some minor electrical work. And I say minor because it's not like, you know, it's not like I have to be an electrician to like, you know, navigate my way around that. Um, it's really just getting a piece of metal and just connecting two pins with it so that it resets the memory or so I've come to understand. There might be some more stuff in there because some people use a soldering method to kind of like bridge that gap. I think it's just for more permanence, but there's others out there that just take the flat head of a, a screwdriver and they just go boop. Well, it's more like boop, but you know what I mean. So yeah, then up next is doing that. And then we get to put it all back together and then see if it works as it should or if things are, you know, rattling around because we've unseated a lot of things in there. But that's pretty much it. So that was stressful. And it, envi and it uh, involved a lot of napping <laughs> during the day. So that's it for this week. Um, I wonder what next week will bring. Thanksgiving's coming up, so that's exciting. Beyond that, uh, thanks for checking in, and uh, I hope to see you next time.